the old clock shop it was christmas evening last minute shoppers were going back to their home and it was the time to close shops at salt lake city in usa but lights in ray shop were still on because he was repairing a clock that he had sold the same day ray the owner of the shop was old and deaf after finishing his work when ray got up and was going to the back room a cold wave of air touched his neck from the front door he turned to see the shopper who came to his shop at the last minute but as a wise and experienced person he noticed that they were not shoppers he saw two men one was young and the other was middle aged the younger man stopped at the door and the middle aged came to the counter there was no sign of friendliness in the visitor's eyes somehow ray wisely hid his fear and slowly pushed a notepad and a pencil towards him ray smiled and then with his gestures pointing to his ears and shaking his head from one side to another told the man that he was deaf the information on the notepad brought a change on man's face he turned and said something to his friend this gave ray some time to look and examine the man closely he observed the shape of the gun and his hand movement in his coat's right pocket ray was feeling angry inside but his wisdom asked him to cool down and be still he asked the man writing on notepad if he could help him with this the man looked straight at ray and smiled it was a cruel smile as if making fun of something both of them understood the reason for them being in the shop both of the men were looking really unlucky who were trying something for which they could feel sorry later ray then calmly asked him by writing a message if they had come to take a clock or a watch ray also pointed to the loan board filled with hanging clocks and pocket watches to tell them that he gave money as loan in exchange for people's old watches and clocks ray was not a man who gave money to people to take some security in return or earn interest he did all that to help needy people the needy people take their watches back after returning the money to ray without any interest this made the older man feel easy he looked at his watch on his wrist and asked ray what price he could offer him for that ray felt that the man was a little ashamed the watch was not of great worth but it was special because with this ray could turn around a bad situation and come out of it safely and also it could stop the older man to do some wrong deed understanding that man's need ray asked him how much he need the man replied to ray that he should pay whatever was the worth of that watch ray looked into his cash box and took out a 50 dollar note he handed to the man it made him really happy as they shook hand ray could see that the man's eyes were full of gratitude both of them knew that the watch was not of that high price but ray gave a good price for it before leaving the man wrote on the notepad that he would come back to take his watch as soon as possible and wished him merry christmas this small story ended on the half hour with the clock striking a particular time together witnessing the whole incident it seemed as if deaf ears of ray could also hear that ringing music the musical striking bells of the clocks produced a music which spread a message of hope and peace everywhere the message of peace on earth and goodwill towards all spread everywhere and was felt by the three men in the old clock shop so this is how exactly ray behaved the two men came to the shop with an intention to rob the shopkeeper that night as they were in dire need of money but Ray understood their motive and he behaved in a gentle way. His warm behavior changed their evil mind and they took a 50 dollar note and went away peacefully. So no matter how evil a mind is, it can be changed with kindness and love. The moral of the story, we should have goodwill towards everyone 
and help them in their need and peace should prevail everywhere on earth.